Hey creators, today's pick a card reading is all about your love life with a special message from your inner child. Today we have beautiful artworks from Chelsea Marnie. If you want to see more amazing photos, go check her Instagram at C underscore Chelsea Morning. Now pick your favorite image or a pile and feel free to pause this video if you need more time. And I found that some of you guys are having challenges choosing the right pile. And my suggestion is to trust your intuition. Usually, in my case, the image or pile that caught my attention at a first glance is the right one. But there is an exception, of course, so trust your intuition and there's no right or wrong answer. And there's no need to be scared at all because my reading is all about uplifting yourself and find a ways to truly love yourself so that you can live a best life. And of course, love is an essential part of our life. So I hope this is helpful and the timestamps are below in description. By the way, this reading is timeless. So whenever you come across this message, it's the right time to hear because the message will find you synchronistically. By the way, I have a tarot Instagram. Go check it out at Tarot Day. It's where I post daily tarot message for self-love, self-empowering and good vibe messages. And I created my first tarot deck. This is the one. So if you guys are interested in, go check out my website. Now it's available for pre-order. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so if you pick the first image or the first pile, this is the message for you. This reading is all about your love life with a special message from your inner child. You've got the envy in reverse. You've got the world in reverse. I'll just put it in the right direction. And you also got the innocence. Ooh, Ten of Cups in reverse. And don't worry about the reverse direction, by the way. Sacred Soul Sister. Okay, so I am picking up a lot of creative energy, by the way. And your inner child is telling you that you have a clear idea of what you exactly want but you've been focusing more on other people that have your desire instead of really taking care of your inner child. And your inner child wants to be freer and become more spontaneous. A lot of you guys might have been uh, restricted in some way and not really indulging yourself with pleasure. If you guys have a hobby, or anything that you find it interesting, make your time. Like it says, take time to play and nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. A lot of you guys may feel that uh, on an external level, people may perceive you that you have been accomplishing a lot. And certainly there are a lot of aspects that other people can respect you but on the other hand your inner child is feeling somewhat empty so it wants you to recognize that voidness and fill it up with a lot of joy i am picking up that a lot of you guys are very creative with the sacred soul sister this is about your sacred chakra you can express yourself artistically as well as creatively you have a unique perspective and unique way of interpreting unique way of interpreting things and this can make you feel fulfilled you know happiness is all about self-fulfillment 
at the end of the day. And if you guys are partnered, make sure that your partner can contribute to co-creating joyful experience together. I'm saying you guys are very focused on the goals, external accomplishments, and you may have been willing to sacrifice your personal satisfaction for the sake of better and bigger achievement. And now is the time to really nurture your inner child. You need to lighten up yourself a little bit more. And like a dolphin, dolphin is an animal totem that teaches us to become playful and really go with the flow. Yeah, overall, I feel that a lot of you guys have accomplished a lot on a material level. In term, this could be in terms of career, or you could be really excelling in college. You're very resp, you're very, re- uh, you are very responsible, and willing to put in a lot of work into what you think is valuable. But how about your inner child's desire? By taking a conscious action, aligned with your heart's desire, you can maximize your personal happiness. That's what I'm getting, and I know this is a love reading, but I'm not really getting a lot of information about the couple or relationships, but rather hobbies. You guys are really creative. You really need to invest more in developing your hobby or skills, and in this way, you are going to have a lot of fun. And let me get some more details by throwing master dice. Okay, you've got Capricorn in ninth house and Venus. So Venus and Capricorn, you guys would be a workaholic and you are taking relationship very seriously. What uh, your inner child wants you to explore more in regards to your belief systems and find a sweetness in life. Lift yourself up. This could be about finding a belief systems or attitude, life motto that brings you joy in a way that adds practicality. So I'm getting a lot of work or career type of energy so your hobbies or side projects can be related to what you're already doing and this can help you boost your confidence in addition to your personal satisfaction so take off a bit of seriousness and get involved in playful activities Allow yourself to be freely enjoying your life and do a hobby. That's what I'm getting. And overall, you're going to be so much pleased with yourself. And overall, by doing so, you're going to feel much more satisfied with where you are. And this is going to attract more love. You're going to bring in more joy and feel appreciated. By doing what you genuinely resonate with. So I hope this is helpful. And if you got to this point, leave an emoji and feel free to share your feedback. I would love to read your comment. Like and subscribe to my channel. You can find more at my Tarot Instagram at Tarot Day. And check out my new Tarot deck if you like. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so if you pick the second image or second pile, this is the message for you. You've got the two of water. Beautiful. Ooh, I got a scratch here. <laughs> Get to know new connection, first contact, romance, and partnership. Let's see what it is about. You've got. Passion of the Wild Red Mother. Beautiful. 
You've got ten of swords and rivers. Friendship. Adjacent possibilities. So I'm seeing that a lot of things are going on right now. Okay, so I'm seeing that a lot of things are going on right now. It feels like you recently experienced some sort of uh, breakthroughs. It could be a breakup or new beginnings. You have come to a conclusion that certain behavior or patterns are not working anymore. And with that clarity, you just open the doors to the possibilities. You could be uh, seeing a lot of people, uh, seeing many options as your potential partners. But overall, I'm feeling that you're, you're coming across a lot of different opportunities that you haven't really thought of and you're just getting to know, investigating what is available around you. This could be about love interest, but also it can be about career or projects. So your inner child wants you to follow your passion. You're definitely in the move to find your destiny. And your passion is leading you. Your passion is guiding you to the right direction. You've also got the friendship. It says... Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Your friendship is going to be play a significant role in establishing a secure relationship. Being able to share your interest and being friendly and just being able to talk about everything you want is going to be really important in developing a relationship. Communications will act like a catalyst. And if you haven't found the right person or people yet, I would recommend just researching and going for a, like looking for a community that you can vibe with and you will be able to find a lot of options available. Your inner child wants you to drop your expectations on your ideal partner, or if this is just about self-care, drop the expectations of how you are going to be satisfied with your life. Because you know, because you never know what is the best for you. You can have a general idea, but as you raise your vibration, you come across a different experience and you can find a better opportunities that you previously haven't even been able to imagine. Okay, and let's find more details by drawing Astro Dice. Okay, you've got Mars and Scorpio. That's amazing. Mars is very strong in Scorpio and you've also got the second house. Your inner child is telling you to become more aware of your own resources. You are, it is okay to be confident with yourself and action is important but your investigation will help you recognize the perfect partner or perfect match. If you are already partnered, try to communicate. Be more active in communication. Uh, feel free to explore around the different topics that you guys can talk about and uh, really like investigate what is your what you truly value and what your partner values. Your second house is all about value system, what you love. Overall, I feel that there's a lot of chemistry going on. 
and it's very exciting. You could be having a lot of fun and exciting moments. So drop the expectations on the outcomes. Just go with the flow and seek for friendships and seek for stimulation and uh, think of what can bring more excitement and passion. It almost feels like you can revitalize through getting to know the person you're interested in. And with the rapid here, rapid means fertility. So keep your options available. You don't have to limit your options for now. And just be more open to what comes to you synchronistically. And go for what you're most passionate about. And naturally, you're going to find yourself in the right relationship. The friendship can be developed into a serious committed relationship or vice versa. If you're already in a relationship, you can deepen the bonding by becoming the best friends. And this will bring a lot of passion. And so this is it. And... I hope this is helpful. And if you made it to this point, leave an emoji in the comment. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I have Tara Instagram at Tara Day. Check this out for more. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So if you pick the third image or third pile, this is the message for you. This is what your inner child wants to tell you for your love life. Ooh, you've got the world. Expansion. Ooh, I love that. You've got blossoming abundance. I search on the uprising wave of love. And you've got growing water, which is Knight of Cups in traditional tarot. Okay, so group three, I'm feeling that you are truly in the stage of leveling up your life in many ways. You've come to a conclusion. You've come to the end of chapter and you are just about to expand a certain area of your life. And your inner child wants to be a little bit more bold and take action out of abundant mindset. So look around you and how you're surrounded by what you love. Your life is already complete. It's not that you can't evolve further. That is not true. We are always on the path of evolution. There is no ending to personal progress. Your inner child wants you to recognize that all is within yourself. And um, I feel like a lot of you guys are already like consciously recognizing that. And what can benefit further and increase the sense of personal happiness is sharing. You have a big heart and you can empathically connect with others. You have a really good emotional intelligence. You can feel what other people are going through and your presence can give a lot of comfort to those who are needing kind words. So your inner child wants you to recognize the love that you have and the fact that you can share the love with other people and bringing more emotional connection with others is going to help you feel more fulfilled. It's going to help you feel more complete. Search on the uprising wave of love. A lot of you guys are just about to experience a whole different level of reality, financially, emotionally, on all different levels. Some of you guys have been recently promoted. I'm also seeing some of you are relocating to expand your house or this is what is going to happen shortly. You know, this is a general reading, so everyone is going to be different. But overall, what I am picking up from this group three is really excelling. The momentum is on your back. 
So keep acting upon what you love and be willing to share your positive feelings with others because that is going to maximize the level of satisfaction and keep attracting more of what you desire. So a really good positive momentum is being installed in your life and just keep going, keep expanding. Think big. If you have been focusing on a short-term goals or the nitty-gritty details, now is the time to think big and think of where you ultimately want to go. So this is going to help you put in the position where you feel so much loved. And yeah, a lot of synchronistic events are happening in your life. This is very positive. I'm so happy for you guys, Grip 3. And let me pull in more details with the Astro Dice. Okay, you've got Taurus. Okay, 11. I love this. So you guys are materially very gainful uh, income or the rewards from your hard work is coming to you. Or you have already reaped the benefits. You're, you're in the process of reaping the benefits. And you've also got the moon. The moon is about your feeling. So connecting to the friends or the like-minded is going to help you expand and keep moving forward. Yeah. And the last note, if you have been pretty passive about investing your material resources now is the time to do that take calculated risk and literally i feel that money is coming on your way so enjoy the perks and and make sure to share with your loved ones and the 11th house also represents the collective objective so Doing something for a group of people that you think is valuable. 11th house is a system. For some of you, uh, indulging yourself with physical pleasure, arts, beauty, luxuries is going to make you feel more satisfied. This is good. Your inner child wants you to have the winner's mindset and keep expanding. Keep going forward. The support is all around you and I hope this is helpful. If you made up to this point, leave an emoji in the comment section. Oh, and if you guys are interested in this Simple Words Tarot deck that I am launching soon, check out my website for more details. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I have Tarot Instagram at Tarot Day. Check this out for more. So I hope this is helpful and have a great day. Thank you. Okay, so if you pick the fourth pile or fourth image, this is the message for you. This is what your inner child is telling you to improve your love life. You've got the blood angel. And you've got the anxiety in reverse. Leadership. Ooh, you also got another leadership card in tarot, King of Wands. It came out in reverse. And Five of Water. Okay, so overall, what I'm picking up is your inner child is telling you not to worry. Don't overthink. And whatever you are dealing with at this point is... Something that you can overcome with your leadership. Take charge of the situation voluntarily because you have the power to change it. And it's not really about controlling the external circumstances, but it really depends on your mindset. You need to, uh, your inner child wants you to come to this position where you can handle it, you can figure out this card says step into your leadership share your message inspire and empower others and the king of wands with this together 
I feel like you have a really good vision. With these cards together, you have a big vision that you want to manifest, but you may feel somehow insecure and doubt yourself whether you can make it happen. A lot of you guys are in the phase where anxiety、uh, is fading away, so that's really good. And and there are still some unprocessed emotions that you need to deal with. It says release negative emotions, shadow work, recognize your true desire, do what you don't like. So whenever you experience something that you don't like, that is a really good opportunity to identify what you actually want. Because by facing the contrast, you can recognize what you truly want. And instead of focusing on the absence of your desire, use your imagination. And come up with more ideas that you can possibly feel good if something happens. So allow yourself to daydream more about your desired reality. And Blood Angel, this is about taking inspired action. You have a lot of passion, so use this energy to manifest. Or make your visions come true, instead of thinking about what if something does not work. Of course, there are potential possibilities that things may not work in a way that you want. But the truth is, you never know what's the best for you. So trust the process, and your inner child wants you to process some negative emotions. I feel like some of you guys have sadness and. You're in the grieving process. It's very important that you let out all these emotions clearly. You can give it a good cry, or you can talk to someone, talk to your best friends or family, share your innermost authentic feelings until you feel clear. Because suppressing your emotion is not working. It's going to explode at some point, but if you process it right now or on a regular basis, you are not going to experience a sudden eruption. Such explosion is not necessary. So let's find out more details with Astro Dice. Okay, you've got number seven. The seventh house in astrology represents your committed relationship or business partnership, and the relationship with other people in general. You've got the Pluto and Taurus. So a lot of you guys may have ex-、uh, recently experienced a sudden a transformation in relationship. You might have faced something that you didn't want to. This could be a breakup or sudden change in relationship dynamics. It can be related to your money and physical stability. But remember that your relationship is teaching you how to reinvent your identity for the better. The challenging relationships that you're dealing with at this moment is. Kind of like forcing you to look within yourself and face your inner demon, face your biggest fear, only to realize that you have the power to control. You may not be able to control the external realities, but you can control your inner world. Pluto is all about. Transformation and healing, self empowerment. So whatever that is not working out in your relationship is going to give you a better chance to build a new system that sustains your personal happiness in the long run. So first, process unresolved emotions. Second, really own your power. Claim your power. You've got it. 
and you can either create a new relationship but this is your opportunity to take a lead in interpersonal relationship if you have just following whatever that happens and whatever that other people offer you without really claiming what you want, now is the time to take back your power, take the ownership of your life in relationship sector. That's what your inner child wants you to do. Be a leader for yourself and realize that you have the power to change. So that is the message for you guys. I hope this is helpful and if you guys made up to this point, leave an emoji, like and subscribe to my channel and I have a tarot Instagram at tarot day where I post daily message for self-love and self-empowerment. So check this out for more. And if you're interested in getting this tarot deck, which I'm launching pretty soon, you can find more details on my website. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.